you and getting to know everybody and all my new subscribers all subscribers thank you thank you so much and you have to be a subscriber to be in with a chance to win so hit the red subscribe and the notifications bell so you'll get all notifications of any details coming up and I'll give you those details later on so my smallest um, we we'll start as I said with the SLGs in the my Chanel collection well to be honest it was my card holder wasn't it start that again. Be careful with candles, people. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Whoa. Okay, I'm shell-shocked. That was not part of my video. Anyway, thank god everyone is okay. I'm okay. I was sitting here and I was like, I hear something. Is it raining? Is it there? Is there a storm outside? What's going on? I just hear the. Shh. Like, what the hell is there? Something wrong with my computer? My sound? What's going on? And next minute, everything's on fire behind me. Oh my god! Anyway, thank God we're all right. I got the fire out in a bit of a panic. I shouldn't be laughing, but I'm kind of like delirious at the moment. <laughs> oh my god! And all the bags that I have here in front of me and everything else. And oh Jesus! Oh sorry. Anyway, um, right, let's start. Let's be calm and carry on, as they say. Thank God I'm okay. Thank God everything's okay. And that certainly was not supposed to be, supposed to happen, ever. Be careful, candles, people. Take two. So, my entire Chanel handbag stroke SLG collection, as I was trying to say, I have nine pieces, had ten. One was stolen, misplaced, or lost. All of the above. I brought it out one night and basically came home without it whether I misplaced it in the taxi or my little bag that I have told you about before actually went with it as well. So I think I could have left it behind, but anyway, it never came back. I have replaced that little card wallet with my YSL one, which I would have shown you before in different videos. And so that one is gone. So therefore I have nine pieces. What I also want to say is about the giveaway. So we are nearly at 3000 subscribers. Woohoo! Thank you so much to all of you who supported me, chatted, commented, and all the rest. As I was saying, hit the subscribe button button the little red one down below with the notifications bell beside that part is very important too it's all free don't worry about it and you will get all notifications coming up about anything that's happening on this channel if you're interested and I would really appreciate it if you did now today's I will tell you about that later and show you what it is today's fragrance of the day is BDK Parfum Parfum Gris Chanel and this is divine and we need it in this room now more than ever so as I was saying to you in previous videos, oh my god, uh, this is one of my favourite parts of the video, I just get to smell lovely, that I wanted to expand and just share with you my perfumes of the day and different fragrances because you are a discerning audience, you know what you like, you know what you love and luxury and all that kind of stuff, so I know a lot of you are from my last videos and thank you so much again liking the whole fragrance part of the channel now in this the top notes are so we have a uh, cardamom fig and black tea then there's iris which is making it really that lovely powdery which i just love as a fresh powdery scent and then there's vetiver and then in the base notes you have sandalwood and tonka which is giving it that beautiful vanilla stroke creamy kind of um fragrance for its smell so it's woody and spicy the cardamom gives it like an aromatic powdery fruity earth and vanilla it is absolutely beautiful i bought it in this decanter 30 mil uh not 30 mil 3 mil and uh, because it fits in my handbag and i like to do that from time to time because if you buy all of the same size fragrance go go off perfumes go off some of them do if you leave them in sunlight and different circumstances like that so it's nice to have one for the handbag so that's a beauty if you're into that kind of scent fresh warm and again leaves a beautiful sillage it's just stunning so to the first piece of chanel what am i going to talk about well it's not the card holder because that's not here anymore and it's not the fire because that's over thank god so moving on from there i have this little baby and she's a beauty this is the chanel compact wallet the flap wallet and it's beautiful it is in the caviar leather 
and as you can see it has the burgundy interior it is literally brand new this piece i actually bought this piece from uh vesti not vestiaire actually i got this piece from fashion file in the us and i bought her she was new she'd never been used and the reason i bought her there is because i wanted her particularly in caviar i did not want to buy a lambskin wallet because i thought i'd be taking her in and out of my bags very often and i didn't want her to get ruined so therefore i bought her in the caviar the more durable material she's a stunning classic piece and if you've seen actually lately with the new 21p collection and with other collections that are out they have the new mini a uh, classic wallet and literally I was actually thinking of getting this done but I don't think I'd wear it so I don't know I'm either actually thinking of selling this which I'm sure by now you would have seen my uh, entire handbag collection and in that obviously this little beauty was so this one's either for sale I think or I was thinking of getting two loops at the side and putting a little um, one of my straps from like say dress up your purse discount down below for you guys and just attaching it and then wearing it cross body and I actually did a little short video on on YouTube shorts for that if you want to have a look at it but I mean that's exactly they're charging I think they're charging something like 1200 and I'm selling this you can see it on um, where do I have it listed I have it up on vest here if you want to have a look and I also have it on my Depop actually follow me over on Depop I must stick that up here as well because I will be sticking I'm trying to use it more and keep up with the times you know it's difficult I'm trying to learn more and more as I go along first of all it was the camera and all the YouTube stuff and now it's you know all the Instagrams and Depops and it's very difficult but anyway I'm managing and, and enjoying it so that's her she has this is what's good about this piece is she has the coin area at the back for your coins and then obviously all your slip cards here for your cards and then inside here has another little area here for all your cash and your notes so that is her she is a real classic piece she's just a stunner she's literally in brand new condition and as I said the only reason I'm thinking of letting her go is because I don't use her I mean I want to keep her because she's a classic and she's beautiful and she's gold hardware and that was one thing I was not glad about but my card holder had silver hardware so I was like well at least it wasn't gold because that's my favorite color but anyway so that's number one in my Chanel collection moving on there to number two is this beauty now this is my mini O case and again it is in the caviar and again I just any small item like this I really really like to have it in the caviar you're pulling it in and out of your bag and it really needs to be durable this is a stunner of a piece as you can see the cc's on the top there the just the detail of this the burgundy on the zip the whole lot is just stunning I love this piece she's soft and smooth and buttery and gorgeous and I will never ever get rid of this piece even if I never use this piece I would never get rid of her I just lo love her now to be honest I don't use her a lot she comes around everywhere with me well when I carry a bigger bag but all I have in I have a mask in here if I show you my mask it's quite fun actually it's a smiley face see <laughs> I know mad and then I just have lip balm and a little my L'Occitane which I love which is my hand cream and oh I just love when this happens 20 euro and uh, yeah so that's her so I got her actually on eBay because these are hard to come by and this was the combination again I wanted her in and she was brand new um, a lot of the time I'll only buy a pre-loved or second hand if the item is either brand new or in absolutely excellent condition or has never been used before they are the conditions I like to buy under and you can still get great deals it's a great way to save money and uh, as you can see this piece is brand new um, as far as I know she came with all the full set the box the whole lot I have inside so that's that little beauty and then my third piece is is the vanity case or the little O case from Chanel now this is in lambskin and um, this piece is beautiful I love this piece but I will say I've used her once and um, I bought this one on it was either Vestier I think it was Vestier was it yeah I think it was and um, I just love her but you see lambskin I'm trying to mind her aren't I that it's real Irish mentality oh god don't use it it's too good we should be using it I'm actually getting a lot better particularly since last year at that I'm using everything perfumes going to bed the whole lot everything's out the window since 2020 <laughs> throw it all out the window who cares so um, yeah that is that piece she is a beauty I just want to show you if anybody's interested I don't know if I'll sell this piece. Ooh, something else 
Gee, purse, I'm being very lucky altogether today. Of course, I'm suffering from dropsy after the fire. I can't believe it, a fire live on. Like, I think I'm in shock, people. I think I am. So that's lovely, isn't it? My two earrings, which are actually beautiful if they were turned the right way up. That is one of them there. And that is another. And I have a beautiful gold chain that you can't see because it is tangled up in my earrings. And that is actually what I wore to um, a friend's dad's wedding way back last year when we were allowed out. I think it was March or sometime like that. So that's what was inside there. Nice to find those. And what I do love about the inside of this is look at the quilting. Can you see it there? It is just, it's black quilting and it has a little slip pocket here, the little Chanel logo here and um, that made in Italy this piece is. So that is another reason. Look at my nails. I painted my nails today and they're already lifting. Actually, I've been looking up for ages because I used to always, always get my nails done. I'd always get the shellac or the uh, gel and I've just stopped doing that. So um, now I'm trying to give them a chance, but I'm literally, literally painting them every single day because they're chipping literally on camera as we speak. So can anybody recommend a really long lasting, really good, I'm using an Essie at the moment and I've always loved Essie, but it's just peeling right off. So if anybody has any ideas or any tips, let us know down below. So anyway, that's herself there and uh, the quilting on the inside. So obviously it's a wipeable material, a little beauty. I don't know, I might let her go. As I said, this is my Chanel collection at the moment. It's always evolving. Evolve with Viv. I did a show with Evolve with Viv actually. So we're all evolvers around here. I haven't thought about selling that piece yet. I do love her, but I'm just of the mindset now. If I'm not using the pieces, I'm just gonna let them go. That's just the way it is. And of course, I have my eye on a couple of bits, don't I? Stay tuned for that one. So there's a couple of really nice bits out there and I may have one on the way and have been trying to sell a few and be good and be practical and all of the above. So stay tuned. From there, we shall move on to my next biggest piece, if you like. And it is this little beauty, my Chanel mini rectangle. And it is just a stunner in the chevron. Now, some people prefer the quilting. Some people think the chevron is more elegant. I just have to say I love this piece in the quilting obviously it is in the lambskin and um, I haven't had a lot of opportunity to wear her I only got her last year again I bought this piece on Vestia because it was what I wanted I wanted this one in the quilting because I are in the chevron because I have some um, quilted pieces and I just like to change it up and uh, you know diversify my collection so it is in the champagne gold hardware which I also love and this piece was never worn and came with the full set from Vestiaire and as you can see is just beautiful. She's just a stunning piece and um, I'll, I'll never get rid of this bag. I've worn her to a couple of lunches when we were allowed out and on the inside I actually had my Zumoni organizer inside but took it out because I put that into one of uh, Katie's bags and I have a few more coming from Zumoni actually. Thank you so much to Zumoni. They're sending me another couple of pieces and again they have a discount code for you guys down below. So on the inside there as you can see I just have it stuffed with its own bag and the chain is inside. This one is really good for me in that it's black obviously and um, it's going to you know, I'm curating my handbag collection at the moment and this one is going to be my, if I need an evening bag, if I need a more classic, uh, just and she is a timeless piece if I'm going to have function, but also she's going to double up as going to that lunch or brunch or things like that. The length of this strap obviously is longer than the square. Um, I'm 175 centimeters, so this hits me just below the hip and I'll stick in a few mod shots because I definitely have some mod shots of this one and um, just so you can get the, the height difference of where it sits on me. But you can wear her crossbody perfectly, but she's a little dote and what I love as well is the beautiful Mona Lisa pocket on the back and all the details on this bag. Hopefully this will be in my collection for a very, very long time. Now, moving on from there, what size wise, let me see. Yeah, size wise, sure look, of wouldn't it be herself? Another little dote, and she is a dote. This is my small classic flap uh, in the red, as you can see with the beautiful 24 karat gold hardware. Now this bag is a stunner. Obviously she's vintage because you can't get the 24 karat gold anymore. And of the red against the yellow, I adore, I have to say. I got this bag from a Japanese seller on eBay. Um, I will link some down below for you actually because 
you can really trust a lot of the Japanese sellers because they, you know, their whole culture is integrity and honesty and that's the way they live and they have very, very strict laws about, you know, fraud and basically fake handbags and that, that whole market. So they're very, very trustworthy and this, it was so easy to deal with this seller. As I said, I'll stick them down below if you're interested. The price was brilliant. I got this piece for 2,000 euro. So you mean like a small bag now. That was another thing. I wasn't gonna go through all the prices of each and every one of these bags because I have done a video on the Chanel price increase. So I'll stick that up and you can have a look at that as well. And it will just make the video longer. So yes, this piece, as you know, in the small now, I think they're 5,000 five and a half thousand and this was two thousand now this one is from the 80s and i just love her uh, do you know what i love most about her obviously is the 24 karat gold hardware plated hardware and also the fact she's red she's my only red bag the size of her and the fact that you know not everybody's gonna have her because you can't just walk into a shop and buy her so i you know i use little felt pieces and stuffings and there's a little tea towel in here now i don't have an actual yeah i also have like um bubble wrap inside just to keep her shape but look at the inside of that bag i mean just kept so so well now obviously you're going to have a few marks or nail marks and things here and there on the bag but that's to be expected but i mean she's lambskin this one and what i love about her is yeah she's a little bit older and even at the front here but this happens see this here this happens with new bags and lambskin as well it just pulls if you've too much in the bag and she's stuffed so always i would recommend anybody particularly with lambskin first of all to stuff your bag as I have done and then even stuff her more just to keep but not too much or you will have too much of a pull on your on your bag just nicely and then with the double flap as you can see here sometimes the zip falls funny and just digs in here and makes a mark and that's pretty natural on all the bags so just put something to protect as I have here and then flatten your zip like so as you're closing your bag when you're storing it obviously you don't have to do this every time you're wearing the bag but that is one of the big massive huge advantages of buying vintage and because you don't have to be so careful you can enjoy your bag you can wear her out and go look she has a few marks and that adds to the character and her beauty and now i can just wear her over my shoulder as i would wear this little beauty over the shoulder from there then the next size i suppose would be my beautiful beautiful buttery delicious caramel clutch and as we know all the caramels oh my god the 21p collection is to die for absolute to die for if you ask me and so this i bought back in when did i get this i think it would have been it wasn't this year october maybe last year september october and it was the color that got me and of course this is the classic clutch with chain with the champagne gold hardware in the caramel color and it was the color immediately when i saw this purse um, that i grabbed and then oh my god how did we know or little did i know should i say that this was going to be the color of the season so i am thrilled with this piece and i got her as i said on best year and she was two thousand euro and um, so i got her for a great price and she is in amazing condition um there is the inside and you can just see there and i love i haven't got to use her yet but i will the flat pocket where my phone can go where's my phone sure you can see it totally has massive room in there to fit the phone and then has the beautiful stunning and very elegant little chain which is a lot slimmer than your classic chain she's just daintier and slimmer if you see i'll just show you the two different chains together here and there you go so you have the jumbo and you have the classic chain there and that is the difference in the chain size so depending on which you prefer it's nice to have the choice between the both i have to say but that is herself again i would wear her on the shoulder possibly or just by just by the top of the bag either whichever i just love the color and as i said um yeah she's just going to be hopefully my collection forever because this color and the softness of the lambskin i am in love with this clutch i really really love her so that's herself and then last but not least we have my jumbo 
So this was what started all of this madness back in 2017. I bought this beauty and I got it from a private seller brand new. I really adore her, I don't use her a lot. I used her a bit at the start. She's quite big, she's in caviar leather. As you can see, the um, quilting is very, very puffy and brand new because she's just been minded and you know, she sits on my shelf inside my closet and I put like a felt um, underneath her to protect all the corners. So the corners are all in perfect condition and she has the double grommets, which I love here as well. You can wear her singler, you can wear her doubled up or you can wear her crossbody. And this bag, I know all the mini bags are in at the moment and I'm a huge advocate for the mini bags, as you know. Um, well, most of you would anyway, but this one isn't going anywhere because, well, first of all, she's my first Chanel bag and sentimental. And second of all, I'd be mad because to try and buy her again would be just crazy. I was lucky I got her when I did, even though it was mad money to me when I did buy her as well. It's never gonna be the right time, but now is the only right time to do anything. So, um, yeah, and now I said last but not least, but she's actually not my last but not least. I don't know what I was talking about. Honestly, the fire has thrown me off. But that's herself, my jumbo. And then the last but not least, you're probably going, what are you talking about, Viv? Was my trendy CC. And this beauty, as you know, sure, look at, I have an awful soft spot for herself. And I got this beauty because I wanted her in this particular color. And I got her from a personal shopper. And the personal shopper's name is Timeless Like Audrey and she's on Instagram. And this beauty came all the way from Australia. So I had to go to all the way to Oz. Hi to everybody in Oz to find this beauty. And I would recommend anybody to deal with Timeless Like Audrey. As I said, she's on Instagram. She's so professional. She's so lovely. Everything is seamless. Um, not a bother. There's all now little flecks of ash and smoke all over her, but we will just rub her off. Even though people are so worried about lambskin, but literally just rub that off. That's just little, a couple of flecks. Some people are probably having heart attacks going, what? But, um, so yeah, I got this, this beauty last, about last March. Look at, she's a dote. Again, I haven't had time to use her properly. That's the way I store her, but she's not going anywhere. She's a classic. She comes with the beautiful light gold champagne hardware and the iconic turn lock there, which I just love. And of course, the strap, which you can do on the shoulder, which is probably the best. Some people that are maybe a little shorter can wear her crossbody or my favorite way, which is top handle and to let the strap drop and just be like, a piece of jewellery. That's kind of the way I like to wear her, just like that. And thank you to everybody who admired my Hermes Collier de Chen. It's not Collier de Chen, it's the dog bracelet. Thank you so much for that. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. She is a little bit more delicate in ways, I suppose, if you're going to wear her every day. Um, but I can, when I look along this side, maybe there's one or two tiny scratches, but because of the colour of this bag, you can't really see them in it. So it's absolutely brilliant. So that is my collection. And for the moment, Little announcement that maybe I might have one more coming. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I just, oh look at, yes, I have one more coming and I will be revealing that hopefully in the next video or two. So stay tuned, I'm so excited about the next one. And as you know, I have tried and am still selling a lot of my collection to pay for the next one. And that's what you gotta do. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now, just to finish off. So as you know, I am giving away this little beauty to one of your little beauties when I hit 3000 subscribers. And how you enter is basically, you have to be a subscriber here and, and hit the notifications bell. You also have to follow me on Instagram. And then on here, you just like, comment and share and the same on Instagram, like, comment and actually tag a friend on Instagram. And you will be in a ch with a chance to win this brand new, I actually have the box and everything that I came in and you will be getting that to one of you lovely subscribers. There's the receipt, the whole lot. Uh, when I hit 3000 and I will be doing it fairly as I did the last one live, you will see who will win. I will do the screen record. So it's all above board. And that's it. Until next time, be kind, be safe, be very safe. Mind the fires, mind the candles, be compassionate. Love you lots. Take care. Mwah.